really early for this. The sun is shining. My hair is still wet and frizzy from my shower. John is vacuuming and I have about a half hour to make this because I'm going to a wedding today. Not really for fun but to work. <laughs> I am helping my friend out. She's a photographer and she needed an assistant for the wedding she's working today because she's going to be a mom in a couple months. I've always wondered about wedding photography. I've loved photography in general for a while now, but I've always just done it for like a passion, as a passion. And we've actually never met in person, but um, have been talking online a bit and I'm excited to finally meet her and to help her out with the wedding she's shooting and I think it'll be a really cool little opportunity to just get a behind the scenes look at what a wedding photographer <laughs> goes through all day. I'm going to meditate first today. There's just such a stillness in the air right now and there's no real noise around me and I want to capture this moment before <laughs> Somebody starts mowing their lawn or <laughs> playing music outside. I always feel like I need extra self-care on a day-to-day -day basis. I need like three large meals with snacks in between, plus water, tea, peppermint oil if I get a headache. I need to meditate or else I'm stressed and overwhelmed and I feel like people could just carry on their day so much easier than I can. <laughs> I feel like I need to remind myself constantly that I need to nourish myself in some way. Just thinking of going to this wedding today like I'm gonna get there at noon and I'm going to be there till nine so like what am I gonna eat and drink all day? John made me a pasta salad last night so I could bring that in the car and eat it beforehand before I get there. And then I have like some granola bars and a sandwich that I'm bringing too but since I'm vegan I can't really rely on just like always having food available for me somewhere or being able to order something quickly like a normal pizza or a sub or <laughs> things that people just rely on when they're out all day. I feel like if I was ever fortunate enough to have a topic to write a book on I would just go outside every morning and write on the ground <laughs> I enjoy this so much I am doing another yoga with Adrian video I'm sorry Doing this routine in the morning really makes me feel like I've already accomplished something for the day. That feels really good. I don't think I'm going to do all three of these things every day for forever. <laughs> if I want to start running longer and getting more 
out of my meditation and writing, I feel like I would benefit from splitting them up once in a while. And when you're ready, we'll bow the head to the heart and whisper, Namaste. But I really just want to get the habit down right now and doing a little bit every day feels like I'm just building that foundation for each one just a little bit more every day. My dogs are very upset. Doing this every day is just reminding me that we have to slow down once in a while and life is constantly moving so fast. We're missing a lot of moments and not remembering a lot of the little things that make us happy every day. Everybody's so focused on their big goals and being successful in life, in their career and checking off all these boxes in their life, but life is really just made up of all these little small moments and it doesn't mean you shouldn't strive for your big goals, but it also means that you have to appreciate the day-to-day -day tasks that you're doing and finding the beauty and stillness in each day too, so you remember how special every day is. I hope one day they teach us from a young age that mental health is really important and that everybody goes through these struggles and gives us some practices that we could use every day because I think it's life changing especially for the younger generation to realize that as you're growing up as a person you're gonna change and things are gonna happen and you're gonna feel lost or mad or sad at the world and that's okay finding a better way to channel those feelings I really hope you can get outside today and enjoy this beautiful day if it's nice out. <laughs> if it's not, maybe go dance in the rain. Feel the corners of your mouth lift up a little bit and smile to yourself and be proud of yourself for wherever you are in your life right now.